This question comes from Sean, who asks, what would happen if you were to gather a mole, the unit of measurement, of moles, the small furry critter, in one place? There's no way to sugarcoat it. Things get gruesome. Unless you have a real... It's not a typical unit, though. It's really just a number, like dozen or billion. If you have a mole of something, it means that you have 602 sextillion, 214 quintillion, 129 quadrum, which is usually written 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, whoops, nope, update. The SI recently redefined the mole based on more accurate measurements, and now it's 602 sextillion, 214 trillion, 76 quadrillion. Put one way, a mole is now 53 quadrillion less than it used to be. Put another way, a mole is now 0.000009% smaller than it used to be. Either way, a mole is such a big number because it's used for counting numbers of molecules, which there are a lot of. One mole is, by design, close to the number of atoms in a gram of hydrogen. It's also, totally by chance, a decent ballpark guess for the number of grains of sand on Earth. A mole is also a type of small burrowing mammal. There are a handful of types of moles, and some of them are horrifying. I mean, delightful. So what would a mole of moles, 602 sextillion, 214 quintillion, 76 quadrillion furry mammals, look like? First, let's start by trying to do a wild approximation. That's the kind of calculate 1 and 0.1 are all close enough that we can consider them to be basically the same number. Let's say I can pick up a mole, the animal, and throw it. I've never tried this, but I assume I can. Let's assume anything I can throw weighs one pound, and one pound is basically one kilogram. 